Good afternoon, Jack. Here's your machine, the Breville Boosty Express BSA7 in silver. So as you saw in the photos, it's pretty good condition, this one. Um, some, obviously some scratches around the front uh, and this side, but nothing too bad, honestly. I'll give it a, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, really. It's, it's, it's quite clean. Um, and of course, it fully works uh, like new, as you would expect. I've just given it the full cleaning cycle and test. Everything is fine. Um, and it's ready, it's ready to make the coffee. So. Uh, when you first turn on the machine, you'll probably take about a minute until it's ready to go. But now it's been on for a while um, and it's ready straight away. You'll see the buttons light up when it's ready to make the coffee. You can make a coffee straight away when you turn it on, uh, but it's advisable, advisable to warm it up either by waiting 10 20 minutes. Um, so, for example, after 10 20 minutes, the top lid will be nice and warm, the group handle, the group head. Um, you can keep your cups up over here for them to get warmed up as well. But if you're in a hurry and you want to go straight away, um, you don't want to wait 10, 20 minutes, just run a blank shot. So a blank shot is running hot water through the machine, um, through the handle, into the cup, without any coffee in the handle, of course. So just to warm things up. So I'll, I'll do that. You can do that once or twice, it's up to you. No harm in doing it twice, really. Yeah, that's definitely warm. Um, you can also use the hot water tap over here, either to make a long black coffee or um, to warm up your cups or to make tea, whatever you like. So you give you hot water straight from the boiler. It's pretty hot. Yeah, that's, that's very hot. Um, put it on the side. So when you take out the portafilter, you want to dry the portafilter and the basket before grinding anything into it. So this here is a, is a double basket. It takes 18 grams of coffee, so we'll try to dose 18 grams into it. Um, your machine also comes with a single basket and also two pressurized baskets. Those two are for pre-ground coffee, whereas these ones with the multiple holes underneath. Uh, these ones are um, the single are the single wall variety, so you want to use these ones for freshly ground coffee. But for pre ground coffee, you want to use the dual wall. Okay, uh, let's use the scale to dose. So I, I highly recommend the scale. Um, if you don't have one, that's still fine. You can still make a coffee, but it's for consistency. It's advisable to get a scale. Um, the grind size adjustment is over here on the left. This will determine how fine or how coarse your coffee will be. Um, at the moment, it's at number five. So just by feel, I think it's in the right ballpark. This is what it looks like. Uh, but we may need to fine tune it. Uh, obviously, the only way to know if this is the correct grind size is to make a coffee with that grind size. Um, and of course, Different beans may have different settings, so your beans may need to be adjusted differently. But I'm using the Aldi beans at the moment, they're pretty good, I recommend them. And uh, at the moment, number five looks like it's in the right ballpark. Over here, you have the grind amount how much to grind for. So I'm going to keep it at 12 o'clock and see how many grams that, that is. You can also select a single or a double quantity. I'm going to keep it on single personally. I think it's better to grind once, so grind half, uh, press it, and then grind it the other half. Press it again, as opposed to grinding the full double quantity. That's my first dose. Let's see. That's 8.2, so let's put it at 1 o'clock, see if that gives us more. I'm looking for 18 grams total, so about 9 grams per click or per dose. Um, that's if you click it. If you want to manually grind or top up, you can just hold it and that will grind for as long as you hold it. That's 9 grams, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, try it again at setting, the, at setting 1 o'clock. Perfect. 
Bih jako lepo spilani kofi. Let's measure that. Yeah, that's 17.8. Close enough. It doesn't have to be surgically exact. Um, I mean, uh, you want to aim for 18 grams, but a bit more, a bit less is okay. As long as it's not something like 2 grams or 1 gram. Uh, more or less. If it's a few milligrams, that's fine. Um, so we have the full, pretty much the full 18 grams in here. And you'll notice, I'm going to tamp it nice and firm. So I, I'm going to spread it with my finger or my palm before I actually press it with the tamper. And then when I do, I'll apply firm, even pressure all around. And you'll notice that the tamper only went as deep as this silver part. So that's that's the trick that Breville implemented in the tamper design. Um, so if you tamp and you get the depth uh, that's the same as this silver part, then you have the right amount of coffee. So as you see, it does it can't go any deeper into the handle. That's about as deep as I can push it, and it's this deep pretty much. So if you're in a hurry, or if you don't have a scale and you still want to check if you have the right amount of coffee, you can either eyeball it or just look at the tamper. Let's see if it's the same depth. Um, yeah, so clean the edges, of course, before you lock it in. And this is a new fresh seal, so you don't have to lock it in all the way to the right. I'm going to lock it in only halfway, so only this much. Should be more than tight enough. Um, yeah, so now we're ready to brew. These two buttons here are programmable, so you can make them as long or as, as short as you'd like. I'm going to reprogram them to give us the correct uh, quantity for a double shot, which is 36 grams. So we put in 18 grams, we want to get 36 out. That's the basic recipe that most people use, a 2 to 1 ratio. So for every gram of ground coffee, we want 2 grams of liquid coffee. Um, and we want that 36 grams to come out into the cup between 20 to 30 seconds from the button press. So we'll time it as well. So the way you adjust, I'm gonna um, calibrate my scale here. The way you adjust the button is you press program, then you press the button that you run on program. Let's do the double. And you wanna pay attention to two things when you're making a coffee. You wanna pay attention to the pressure gauge. You want it to be in the top range about 11 o'clock to one o'clock, let's say. And the flow, you want it to be nice and smooth. Not too quick, not too slow. If it's too quick, you would adjust this finer. If it's too slow, you would you would adjust it coarser by uh, a number, like one click. So I'm gonna time it as well. Hopefully, we can get that output between 20 to 30 seconds. That's one o'clock pressure. Perfect. We're on the right track. It's very nice and smooth. It's symmetrical on both sides, and we have a very good amount of crema. I'm going to stop it right there. That's 20 seconds, so on the dot, you could say it, it was a touch too quick, but honestly, it looks really good. I don't think this is a, a bad shot at all. So maybe we can try grind size number four. Um, so the, the way you adjust it is you start the grinder, and then you rotate the dial. You don't want to rotate the dial when the grinder is not grinding. And after you change the grind size, just purge and remove whatever grinds you're getting, because that will be a mix between the old and the new grind size. Let's see the quantity. So in 20 seconds, we got 40 grams. So it's a touch too much, it's a touch too, too much coffee. Um, I usually aim for between you know, 32 and 40. Um, so this is just over 40. Um, but that's fine, we can still um, experiment again. If you're not happy with the taste, give it a taste. If you're not happy, try it again and then the grind size number four, which it is on right now, uh, grind size number four should be perfect. Uh, and it's important to use good beans. If you're using stale beans or really cheap beans, you're not going to get good results anyway. All right, so as you remember, the grind size number four, the dial at one o'clock, you should be getting a good coffee. This is what we got, good crema, and it smells really good. Let's make this into a long black by adding hot water. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's that's a, a long black Americano style coffee. If you were to add um, milk to this drink, you, you can make a latte or a cappuccino, of course. So yeah, after you do the, the espresso, obviously you want to clean your machine, so take out the port filter, knock it into a knock box, which by the way, I do have a spare knock box if you, you're interested, happy to, get, to sell one. Um, yeah, you want to rinse, so you can either use the sink. Well, what, I, what I like to do, I like to do a two birds, one stone trick. Just throw some hot water. This will rinse your group head, shower screen, and the port filter. And about the, uh, the button, now every time you make a coffee with the double button, it should give you about 40 grams of coffee. So that's it's really handy, you don't have to manually stop it every time unlike cheaper machines that don't have this feature. Um, and maybe every every other day or every week, you could just grab a tissue or, the, or a brush and um, wipe the group head to remove any, to further remove any oils or coffee grounds. It's already pretty clean, so you don't have to get in there. Yeah, that's, that's an espresso on the Bravo Bruce Express. You can uh, use the milk steamer on here, it's fantastic. And with some practice, you can get some really good latte art from this machine. So just turn it on, give it about 10, 15 seconds for it to start steaming and reach full pressure. You wanna learn a technique for steaming. It's, you have to position the jug at an angle and um, sort of spin the milk around, inject air into it as it spins. It's really important to, when you're done steaming the milk, give it a purge, just to clean the insides of any milk residue, and now it'll cool down, it'll go back to espresso mode when you see the buttons light up. And it's really important to grab a towel, and a wet towel, and wipe off the wand. Because obviously it gets really hot on there and the milk will stick and you will sort of bake onto the metal if you don't wipe it off straight away. So the, the sooner you clean it, the better for the machine. Yeah, so it's a very tidy little machine. I'm sure you'll love it. If you have any questions on how to use it or any concerns, always feel free to message me. I'm more than happy to help. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks.